When Doug and Gina Wilkerson married, they both agreed to always trust the Lord and be cheerful givers. That was one thing that we really came together on. I've been taught that tithing was part of obeying Christ. After her successful career in interior design, Gina and Doug moved from Alabama to Destin, Florida to pursue her dream of owning her own art gallery. We prayed over our building and I felt that the Lord anointed that business. We were able to expand that footprint to over five times. I knew it was going to be successful with her and God's help. Soon, Gina's art gallery was one of the most popular studios in the Southeast. About that same time, they also became 700 Club partners. I saw all the blessings that came through the 700 Club and CBN through Operation Blessing, Orphan's Promise, prayer uh, partners. I call uh, CBN my prayer troopers. In 2016, the couple started thinking of selling the gallery. I called in my prayer troopers, and the next day, I got a call that I may have someone that may be interested in buying your business. They sold the gallery at a significant profit and moved back to Birmingham. Then in 2020, a man knocked on their door, offering to buy their home. I didn't really know what to think. Someone just showing up at your door and asked them to buy your house. And we decided that we should ask the Lord about it. He knows what we need. And if he wants that, send him back and I will obey. To their surprise, the man returned and offered an even higher price and the Wilkerson's accepted. Now they found themselves in an overheated housing market with nowhere to live. After making several failed bids on homes, they went ahead with a planned vacation to Colorado. The text came in from our realtor. There was a home that we could have, and, it, and we had already made an offer on it. She told us we could get back in if we wanted for, for $10,000 less than what we originally offered on the home. Doug and Gina had just made a pledge to CBN for $10,000, the exact amount the homeowner discounted the house. Well, it didn't surprise me because God shows up all the time in our life. Today, the Wilkerson's are living in their second dream home near Birmingham, and Gina is still consulting. They still seek guidance from God, along with their prayer troopers at CBN. I can't imagine not being able to turn on the TV without CBN, 700 Club, and being able to reach the people uh, all over the world. I can't imagine not being able to do that.